video is designed to give you an overview of the bariatric evac mat and is not intended to be a substitute for actual training with the product. The video needs to be assessed in line with the manual handling and cross-infection policies in place within your organisation. Please bear in mind that although the video has been filmed within an NHS hospital, the equipment has been designed for use in various types of buildings where the available space is often very limited. Any manual handling techniques used within the video are merely suggested methods to move non-ambulant persons in an emergency. It is noted that there may be other acceptable alternative techniques on some occasions depending upon the physical and mental condition of the patient or resident are within slightly different environments to those portrayed. The bariatric evac mat has been safety tested to a maximum weight of 350 kilograms, although the maximum load to be pulled downstairs should be recommended by your manual handling advisors. As a general rule, the maximum weight being pulled should not be more than the combined weight of the handlers. Each bariatric patient will have his or her own handling plan and this should be considered before transferring any patient using this equipment. In an emergency, the evac mat can be carried to the evacuation location by the carry handles. In some instances, the mat is located with the bariatric bed at all times. To reduce the physical effort of the carers, moving the patient as close to the exit or stairs as possible on their bed is strongly recommended, if space allows. If time allows, always work with the bed at a comfortable height. One person should take a lead role to ensure communication throughout the process is clear and effective. Remove the patient's pillows and put to one side ready to use later. Release the two holding buckles and unroll the evac mat ready for use. Release the buckles on the cross straps and unfold the evac mat. The patient will then need to be transferred onto the evac mat, either on the bed or on the floor, by safe means using approved moving and handling techniques suggested by the qualified personnel who are available at the time of the evacuation. Slide sheets can be used if available. It may be useful to have bariatric slide sheets stored with or close to the evac mat. Roll them back onto the evac mat. Position the patient centrally onto the evac mat, ensuring that the head is placed on the area marked head before commencing the buckling process. Make the patient as comfortable as possible by reassuring and explaining the process throughout.
cover the patient with the side flaps and secure the cross straps. These are colour coded to make the process simple. The blue, red and white straps tighten across the patient's chest and legs. Once secure, the foot end can be folded over the feet and the yellow strap can be fastened across from head to toe. The straps need to be tight but comfortable for the patient. To prevent tripping, ensure the loose strap ends are tucked under the cross straps. Your individual personal evacuation plan must be adhered to in the safe movement of patients down the stairs. For further guidance, contact your organisation's moving and handling department. It is important that all operators carrying out the evacuation closely follow the instructions of the lead person so that everybody pulls and moves at the same time. Remove the foot end of the bed. Lower and tilt the bed. Working together, slide the patient off the foot end of the bed. Be sure to protect the head throughout this procedure, particularly as the head comes off the end of the bed. Once the evac mat is on the floor, all available operators should assist in moving the patient towards the stairs. It is vital that the patient approaches the stairs feet first, so be careful to ensure that turning the evac mat around in a narrow corridor is not required to achieve this feet first position. With operators distributing the weight between them, slide the patient down the stairs feet first in a controlled manner. All operators must communicate with each other and act and follow the instructions of the lead operator. When reaching the half landing, it is important to steer a wide course so that you do not encounter problems with the central pillar of the staircase. If needed, the cross straps can be used to reposition the evac mat on the half landing area. It is advisable to have a planned procedure for your patients when they arrive at a point of safety. The evac mat is not designed for a patient to spend a long period of time on it. The evac mat can be cleaned using a cleaning or disinfectant agent. If you have any questions or would like to request more information on the evac mat, please contact Hospital Aids.